Hi, I'm Michael and today I'll be talking about Campari, camera-aware decomposed generative neural radiance fields. In the default setup for 2D-based GANs, you start off by sampling a latent code Z from your prior distribution PZ. Next, you feed this latent code to your generator theta. Using state-of-the-art GAN models, you get out photorealistic renderings like this car here. You can also sample more latent codes and generate millions of images of cars. However, how can you take the same car you just generated and move it, say, to the top or to the right of the image? This remains a big challenge for 2D-based GANs. The solution we adopt in this work is called 3D-aware image synthesis. What this means is that we incorporate a 3D representation into the generator model, which then allows us to move around the object and have full control over it. Let's have a quick look at how our model actually looks like. We start off by sampling latent shape and appearance codes for the background as well as the foreground, as well as a prior camera pose. Next, we use the sample prior camera pose as input to our camera generator, which predicts a predicted pose. The 3D-aware image generator then gets the latent codes as well as the predicted pose as input. The latent codes are provided to the fore and background radiance fields and the predicted pose defines the camera viewpoint. For each pixel, we shoot a ray from the camera through the scene and evaluate the fore and background radiance fields at sample locations. We then use classic volume rendering techniques to alpha composite these evaluations, obtaining a final RGB rendering. This rendering we then provide as input to the discriminator. To train the discriminator, we further sample real images from the data distribution. Finally, the discriminator predicts whether the samples are real or not, and our whole system is trained only using the GAN objective. That means that we learn 3D representations despite training our model from raw image collections only, without any annotation. Let's have a look how well this works. Let's start off by illustrating controllable image synthesis. We can change the rotation angle within the range of our learned distribution. Similarly, we can control the elevation angle. Further, we can also change the radius. And here we show the result for changing all three values simultaneously. We now show a comparison to baselines. Graph with manually tuned camera parameters leads to 3D consistent representations, but they still contain artifacts. In contrast, when not tuning the camera poses, the learned representations are not consistent anymore. Our method leads to more realistic and 3D consistent representations, despite no camera parameter tuning is required. Here, the same trend can be observed for the CATS dataset. And here we show results for Kala, a synthetic car data set. The radiance field representation also allows us to render expected depth, which we compare now. 
Similar to before, the representations learned by a graph with manually tuned camera parameters are 3D consistent but contain floating artifacts, also visible in the depth maps. When using graph without tuned camera parameters, the learned geometry is neither consistent nor realistic. Our method learns better geometry than the shown baseline, despite no camera parameter tuning is required. Also note how our method is able to disentangle four from background realistically. We now show some more examples for our method. Make sure to check out the paper if you want to learn more about Campari. Thanks for watching.